Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, Our Little Happiness. This is me, Alina, and James with you today. As you can see, it's a very beautiful day outside, and I'm taking the first, very first public transit uh, in Canada because ever since I moved uh, to Canada, I moved on dependent visa on my husband. Uh, we were actually going for all rides in our car, but unfortunately one fine day like it got broke down like day before yesterday and like it's in canadian tire right now it needs to be fixed thereby we got a chance to take a public transit and um, we are right now going to bayshore mall uh, to do some winter shopping so come with us so one exciting news that i want to share is that uh so it was just me who was traveling in public transport for the first time james had taken buses when he was doing his courses here in canada uh but he forgot to pay so he had some questions to ask to driver and he was like very kind enough to give us uh, all day pass for both of us. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't pay for the trip. And one thing that I noticed was that I'm very glad that like they are using all the advanced techniques so that like even a person with wheelchair is coming, like they can easily get in using the ramp as well as they can actually get out from the bus. They have a particular allocated space for them. And as you can see, there's a provision to put your cycles in that black color thing. It's to keep your cycles. So it's it's very nice. And, and I was so happy to see all those things. And we reached the mall. Uh, there was just like a one minute walk uh, from the bus stop to the mall. And we went to Bayshore Mall, which is like a very near to our residence area. It was already kind of 12.30 to 1 because James wanted to work on Saturday. Like he got an immediate call and like he went for work. And when he came back, it was like kind of 12.30. So we went to food court directly. But uh, on the way to food court, like we saw like so many beautifully arranged uh, Christmas decors, uh, Christmas outfits, which was like so beautiful. And it, it really bums up our mind. And then we went to food court directly to have food uh, so that we will have some energy for shopping. Once we reached there, James was very particular like what he wanted. So he went to his go-to shawarma shop and that is Osmos. But I really wanted to try something different uh, and I was really confused uh, among the options. And there was a restaurant which make pastas from the scratch. But I really didn't want it to waste money on it since I make delicious pastas. But finally I got to choose Thai Express and I ordered. Uh, can I get a chicken pad Thai? Spicy yeah. not spicy? Spicy, spicy. And we got the food and it was really difficult for us to find a seat since it was so busy and it was a weekend Saturday. And finally we got a seat and I got to try the pad Thai noodles which I wanted to try for a very long time. And it wasn't bad. Like I won't tell it as like very delicious. It depends on like people to people. Uh, so it was spicy as I mentioned. Uh, but it was very sweet as well. So, you know, that combination might not be digestible to everyone. Yeah, but some people will like it. Some people won't. So it was okay. Yeah. And the quantity was like too much uh, for me. So I was actually asking James also to eat. But he didn't like the taste at all. So he just took like two or three spoons. That's it. So I packed rest of my noodles and... As always, James' food was so superb and I love Osmo's shawarmas. It's so good and what we always order is Saj shawarma and it's like $14.99 including tax. And if you haven't tried, you must try it. It's actually a very good shawarma and it's very filling uh, and it's uh, one of our favorite shawarma spot in Canada. And we ordered large mango slush from Real Fruit and of course free mango chunks as it is free. Uh, we always go for the large instead of buying like two medium or two small cups uh, as it is much more reasonable. After getting it, I know it will be a little bit difficult to walk around with this large cup but we prefer that. It's okay for us. Don't let his reaction deceive you. It was just cold. Uh, it was super yum, especially with the mango chunks in every sip. So it's so yum. Now look at his happy face. Another thing that grabbed my attention was the Santa's village. Look at the height of this Christmas tree. It was like one and a half times the height of the ground floor. It was so good. The way how they have decorated is like so soothing to our eyes. 
I literally don't know how much time I've spent there watching every detailing they have done. You can even take photos with the Santa Claus uh, and you can get it printed right away. You know what's the cutest thing? All these table tops as well as the door hangings can be customized with your names. Then we got into real shopping and we tried so many dresses. Written by those because our eyes got stuck in some other few dresses which is like more reasonable. We got into so many shops like Zara, H&M, Winners. For those of you who are in Canada, Winners is like a very affordable retail store I would say and they also have like so many Christmas gift ideas like for these cups, candles uh, and hot chocolate cups like so many so many options are there so if you haven't got any you can go check it out. After buying shirts for James, we went to Urban Planet and that's where I got all these tops from and they were like amazing and I got this jacket which I wanted to buy for a long time uh, and I got it for a very cheap rate. Uh, so those of you who haven't done any winter shopping yet, don't miss Urban Planet. They have like very good stuffs for a very cheap rate. So that's it. It was our shopping day and we had a lot of fun. Uh, have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye.